Hello everyone, hope you are in the best of health. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create sign up form using MailChimp and also how to place those sign up forms on your WordPress website. The first thing you want to do when you are in MailChimp, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select create. After selecting create, you will be redirected to this dashboard and I want you to select sign up form right here from the bottom left hand corner. After selecting sign up form, you are going to select pop up form as that is going to be the first example that I'll be showing you. Then you'll tap on begin. After you have selected begin, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and from here you'll be able to start editing your pop up. So for example, you can see right here the layout so you can set an image if you want so yeah i'll tap right here to add an image and you can tap on upload in the top right hand corner to upload an image let me do that real quick just for example sake so let me select an image real quick then go into downloads and find an image a random image i'll use this image right here of mailchimp then tap on download once you have added the image, you will see the image at the top right there. And you can also change the layout if you want by going over to the left hand column and you could select layout. And from there you could change the layout style. As you can see right here, we are currently using this one. I think this form is okay, so I won't change it. You can also change the text right here. So subscribe to our newsletter. So you could type in, for example, sign up let me just put sign up for a free ebook and you can also change the font style by simply copying the font so you want to highlight the entire font and if you want you can put it in bold as you can see right there so you could bold it by simply tapping on bold right there if you want and you can also change as you can see heading right here so you could change that also if you want. And you can scroll down and you can also change the color of the subscribe button by simply tapping on the button. Let me change it. And you can change the wording. So I'll simply put, click here. And I can change the color as you can see right there by simply tapping on the color circle. So I'll put it in yellow. So I'll select yellow as you can see there. Let me scroll down. You can see it there. So now it is in yellow. So once someone hovers over it, it will go into yellow. You can also add a disclaimer to this section if you want. Or you can leave it as is. So I'll leave that as is. And you can scroll up. If you'd like to add anything more, you can also add it. But what we are going to do next, we are going to tap on success message. And from here, this will be the page that the person will see or the message that someone will see once they have subscribed. If you would like to change this, you can also change the wording. And you can go over to the left hand menu option and you can select settings. After selecting settings, from here, you will see a few options. So let's say, for example, I'm on farm right there and I select settings, you will see overlay capacity. So you can pull this and this will be able to increase the overlay capacity opacity right there. Excuse me. And you can also choose when you would like the pop up to be displayed, whether you want it immediately once someone visits your website or you can tap on it and it will be displayed after five seconds or once someone scrolls to the middle of the page or scroll to the end of the page or when they tap on exit. So I'll select five seconds. You can also select where you would like it to pop up from, whether you want it to slide from the side or in the middle. And if you up upgrade your plan to a paid MailChimp plan, you'll be able to remove the MailChimp badge as you can see right there. Once it is to your liking, let me tap on preview so we can see it. And this is how it's going to look. And now we'll tap on exit preview, then tap on save and publish. And from here, we are going to enter our website URL. 
So let me quickly get my website URL right here. I'll simply copy and paste this. Then go back into MailChimp and I'm going to place it right here. Then I'm going to tap on I accept, then tap on get started. And from here you will see copy code. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this code. After I've copied the code, I'm going to go back into WordPress. Then from here, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select plugins. Then you're going to tap on add new plugin. After you have tapped on add new plugin, you are going to scroll down and in the search bar right here, I want you to type in header. So you are going to type in header. And after you have typed in header, you are going to see this option, Elementor header and footer builder. And from here, you will see this option also, insert headers and footers custom code. And you are going to tap on install now beside the WP code and give it a few seconds to install. Then you're going to tap on activate. Now, once it has been activated, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, we are going to see settings and you can see code snippets right here. And you're going to tap on header and footer. Then you're going to scroll down and right where we see header, we are going to paste the code that we had copied from MailChimp. Remember, you have copied this code right here. So all you'll need to do is go back. You are going to paste the code right here. After you have pasted the code, you are going to scroll down. And better yet, at the top right hand corner, you are going to tap on Save Changes. Then you'll see this message. I am certain this is a false positive. I'll tap on that. Allow list this action. All set, refresh page again. So I'll refresh the page. After you have done this, you are going to go back into MailChimp. Then you are going to tap on check connection. You can see right there, it has been successfully connected. All you have to do is toggle this on. Then you are going to tap on close. Now that I've done this, for example, if I were to go onto the website. So let me do that real quick. Let me visit the site. If I were to visit the site, I'd be on the site for after five seconds. We should see our pop up. So let's wait for five seconds. Back. So let's go back to the dashboard and I'm going to show you now how to create a sign up form and add it to your WordPress website. We'll go back to the main dashboard on MailChimp. And again, we are going to tap on create. Once you have selected create, you are going to select sign up form from the left hand menu option. Then after doing that, you are going to tap on embedded form. After doing that, you are going to select begin. And once you have selected begin, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, all you'll have to do now is do your final touches, any editing that you'd like to do. So let's say for example, you want to add a form, you'll see form fields in the left hand menu option. So let's say you want to also connect, collect the person's first name, you could toggle on first name and you can also toggle on last name if you want. And if you would like to connect, collect address, sorry, you could toggle on address as you can see right there. So you can toggle on any one of these options and you can also move them as you can see there. So you can edit your form whichever way you want. And there are numerous options, numerous fields that you can add. So it is quite easy for you to set up. And also if we should tap on settings, you can also change the form title from subscribe to something else. And you can also change the width size if you want. And also you can see numerous options down here that you can show archive link and so on. So you can customize it to whichever way you want. Once you're finished, all you'll have to do is tap on continue. Then from here, you will see the option to copy and paste this code in your website HTML. So what we're going to do, we're going to tap on copy code. 
after you have copied the code you are going to go back in to wordpress And once in WordPress, what I want you to do is select plugins from the bottom left and option, and you're going to tap on new, add new. And then after doing that, you're going to scroll down, you're going to go into the search bar, and you're going to type in MC4WP. Just give it a few seconds, and you can see right here, MailChimp for WordPress. You are going to tap on install. After it has been installed, you are going to tap on activate. Once it has been activated, as you can see right here, all you have to do now is go over to the left and menu option. And once in the left and menu option, we can select MailChimp. And you can give it a quick run over as you can see right here, API key. And to get your API key is quite easy. All you have to do is select get your API key right here. Then give it a few seconds for this page to load up. Then scroll down once you're on this page and you can see right here, you can re review or revoke or generate new API keys below and we'll tap on create a new key. Then from here, you could tap on generate key. So let me add a name real quick. So I'll simply put in test, then I'll tap on generate key and you can see the key right here. I'll copy this, then go back into WordPress and I'm going to paste the key right here. Then I'll tap on save changes. After you have saved the changes, you can scroll down and you can see that you are now connected as you can see right there. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on form. Then scroll down again. And from here, we'll be able to enter your form title you can see the form right there that I had created earlier. And if I were to go back into MailChimp, you can see the form right here. Remember the form that I had created earlier. So all I have to do now is tap on add new form. Then scroll down and you can choose the field. So for example, as I was saying earlier, if you wanted to add birthday or so on, you can do that. You can edit it to whichever way you want. So you can see add to form. And let's say, for example, I want to also collect the state and zip. I could tap on that, then tap on add to form. And once it is to your liking, all you have to do is tap on save changes. Once the, save, once the changes have been saved, you're going to copy this short code right here. And now let me show you how to place this on your WordPress website. Once you have done that, you're going to go over to the left and menu option again. And right where you see appearance, you're going to select widgets, select widgets. And with this, we'll be able to now place our sign up form in our sidebar, as you can see right here. And to do that, all you have to do is tap on the plus. Then after selecting the plus, you're going to see the option code. You're going to tap on code and you could drag it to whichever position you want. Then after doing that, what I want you to do next is you are going to tap on the three dots right where you see option. So just tap on the three dots right where you see option. Then you're going to tap on edit as HTML. After doing that, you're going to place your code right here. And after placing the code right there, you're going to tap on update. Next, I want you to tap on the three dots right where you see more options and you're going to tap on resolve. 
then you'll tap on convert to HTML then you're going to tap on update again and once it has been saved what I want you to do now is go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to visit your site let's say I visit the site to see if it is now loaded then I click on a random post and you can see it right there you can see